Rachel, you're intelligent, you're famous for being intelligent. Do you believe in aliens? Um, well, my mum used to be part of an alien search club. <gasps> oh. Like, they had membership cards and everything, and they used to go to this windmill in Rayleigh and have little meetings. I think, I think she went dogging and she didn't want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? We're looking for aliens, yeah. love. <laughs> there were flashing lights. <laughs> The car was covered in plasma. <laughs> they came right up to the whisper. <laughs> the car was covered in plasma. I know! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Oh. I haven't been fully supportive of, of that kind of thing, but, yeah, I mean, Stephen Hawking would believe in aliens. There's more chance that they're out there than they're not. It'd be pretty solipsistic to believe it was just us, wouldn't it be? You're like, yeah, oh. plus there's people like Jimmy kind of uh, bridging the gap. <laughs> 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 I mean, there's, some, there's something different about you, isn't there? How dare you? <laughs> I'm a robot built on Earth. <laughs> Can we go for the pumpkin one? The pumpkin. Okay, well, it's Halloween on Wednesday, so we asked our studio audience, are you looking forward to Halloween, yes or no? What do you think? Well, it's a Wednesday this year as well, so you can't even have a party, really. How, why can't you have a party on well, a Wednesday? you yeah. could, but it wouldn't be a very good one. You ain't never been you to get... one of my Wednesday parties. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in and watch Crime Watch. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> I went as Uma Thurman, the Kill Bill outfit one year, but it was just a plastic jumpsuit and it's the hottest thing. It was horrible. That is the hottest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's your final question. Top way to waste time. What about you, Rachel? Presumably, um, I mean, Countdown's the main one. Well, Countdown, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it does, like, go into regular life. So whenever I see, like, a three-digit number on a hotel door, I have to, like, factorise it. Or if I see a name, I have to put an anagram, so... Tom you, Davis is an anagram you? of sad vomit. Oh, and um, <laughs> Marley Maddox is an anagram of Madam Jaildix. Oh. <laughs> the top cause of family arguments. Oh. <gasps> Incest. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean it's gonna be a big argument, but I don't think it's gonna be the biggest necessary. <laughs> Did you see that couple that went, they couldn't get pregnant and they went to the doctors to see why, and they turned out they were twins. <gasps> what? Twins. They were a couple twins. Ago. They're, they're twins. twins. They had. They were adopted, but they didn't oh. know they had. A, and they knew oh, the same right. birthday. And they. Everyone used to joke like, "Oh, that's oh, funny," because they used to celebrate it together. And then it's only when they went to China and they couldn't conceive that they found out. Oh my god! That was always my biggest fear when people say, "Oh, you date someone who looks like you." <laughs> <laughs> who would you date that looks who? like you? <laughs> with someone who looked like me. Is this what your wife looks awkward. like? Like, this is a picture yeah. of your wife. <laughs> John, Rachel, Tim, what do you want to answer a question on? Can we have the lady with the knife and fork? She looks angry about what's about to happen, and I want to find out why. <laughs> OK, all right, well, your related question, OK? Worst thing on a date, a fussy eater or someone who drinks too much? If they're a fussy eater, you can just eat their food. Done. I'm happy. See, that would be a good thing for you, a positive That would be thing. fine, as long as they actually go to the restaurant to start with, because I did go out with someone that would only eat, um, like, yellow stuff. <laughs> when I was young, you'd only eat, like, chicken nuggets and chips, so... So you'd go out to a restaurant and go, do you have anything yellow? <laughs> <laughs> you go to a, a custard house. <laughs> One of London's very fine custard houses. <laughs> How many dates did you have with this guy? I went out with him for three years. What?! <laughs> on Channel 4, the food hospital. The food hospital. People that are sick go there and they get cures with different diets and stuff, but it's really good for making you eat healthily or just not eat, because it's on at, like, 8 o'clock. So the last couple of times we've been eating and it's on and they're doing this fibre challenge and they keep showing you different pictures of poo, like, while you're trying to eat. So you're saying your dieting tip is it, look at pictures of poo well, while you're eating? It puts you off your food. I think you want to go with a guy who's got more than one channel on his television. <laughs> You come out of my house, we'll watch the football, we'll stick the Simpsons on, I've got DVDs. <laughs> got the whole works. If you don't like watching shit while you eat, well... <laughs> I'm your man. <laughs> and, that is, and that is the worst proposition that's ever been made. <laughs> I find a heavy drinker on a date very much a positive. Mm. <laughs> well, if they're hammered, I'm, you know... Yeah. Yeah. It's a clincher. Yeah. The men it's might try and push drinks on the women, <laughs> but if the woman can't really do anything with the drunk man. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> what are you going to go for? Uh, uh, probably heavy drinking is worse. I can tell you, you are right. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
63% of people said someone who drinks too much is worse than a fussy eater. I think a fussy eater is worse. If she won't put that in her mouth, she's not going to like what I've got planned for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, we've got one more thing to get. Fingers on buzzers. Go on, Sean. Is it the, uh, the, the bomb? Pants bomber. The guy who had a, a bomb in his underpants and he had no metal in it, which, which is obviously very bad news because it means now when you, you already go, when you go through security, you've got to take your belt and your shoes off. Next, you're going to have to go onto the plane with your pants in a cellophane bag. <laughs> My favourite fact about that is apparently it was supposed to be a mistranslation and it's not 72 versions, it's 72 grapes. <laughs> You'd be a bit fucked grapes. off, wouldn't you? You blow yourself up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here 72 you go. grapes. Grapes, white grapes. <laughs> and even virgins isn't great, is it? Give me one girl who knows what she's doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, what else? There must be something more upbeat we could talk about. Uh, what else have uh, people been talking about? Another Bond movie? Yeah! Another one. Bond Bond so oh, we've got Homeland now. We don't need Bond anymore. You've got Homeland, yeah. we don't need Bond? Yeah. Homeland's way better than the Bond what? movies. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know. I went to see one. I went to see Casino Royale because they build it as it's nothing like a Bond film. It's totally different. And it was just another Bond film. It was a Bond film? Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you have an issue with a Bond film, it's, it's just a Bond film. These ones, they go, it's darker and grittier. Yeah, like, oh. It'd be it'd be darker if he had to get Ryanair flights everywhere. Bond <laughs> <laughs> kneeling beside the check-in desk, stuffing underwear in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Most people secretly want to do another job, true or false. What, what would you do, John, if you weren't doing this? I'd quite like, like to be a milkman. <laughs> a real buzz out of giving people milk. But <laughs> in my experience, unless you've got the uniform, it's weird. <laughs> I've got a friend who's a zookeeper, and it is an amazing job. I've got a friend who's got, really? um, got a dangerous wild animal rescue facility in Woken, this little house in Essex. There's an emu, and he gave me an emu egg, which looks like a dino egg. It's bright green, and I made an omelette out of it the other day. Oh. Well, that's... <laughs> oh, Sorry, is this, is this a rescue it's centre for the animals? A, yeah. <laughs> Eating it's some an of emu. Them. No, it's an emu. We didn't egg. get the funding we were hoping for, so. <laughs> well, it's, Beaky hasn't got a boyfriend, so they're not. You're not eating an. an it wouldn't be an emu because it's not fertilised. It's just an egg. It's Go just very like nicely natural. with the leopard bacon. <laughs> Let's get some answers on this. So most people secretly want to do another job. True or false? What, what are you, you're going to go. True. True. <laughs> John, we true. think it's true. OK, I can tell you the answer is true. 54% of people secretly want to do another job. <laughs> Ashling's team, what do you think the nation have been talking about? Well, I'd say it's our dear old pal in America, uh, Lord Trump, the evil. <laughs> he has fired James Comey, who's the head of the FBI, for investigating Trump into what was some probably dodgy dealings with Russia. And so now he's fired him in quite a dramatic way. And I'd say even Kim Jong-un's a bit like, come on, mate, <laughs> this is a bit bad. <laughs> I think Trump misses The Apprentice and just wants to fire someone on telly again. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote this really weird letter that said, it's definitely, definitely, definitely nothing to do with Russia, and thank you, thank you, thank you for not um, investigating me. I'm not being investigated. I'm not being investigated. You're fired. Nothing to do with that. Have fun. <laughs> He's basically <laughs> doing the political equivalent of, like, hey, guys, look over there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so what, if, what if a country? It's always Russia, isn't it? That Putin's a right nosy bastard, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> But it has. Jeremy Corbyn's upped his game this week, but it feels a bit too late. Like, he's come out with some amazing stuff about zero-hour contracts and not selling arms to Saudi and all this kind of stuff. But it's, I feel a bit like he's had a Viagra at the end of the orgy. <laughs> when people are sort of pulling on their jeans, asking for a glass of water from the host. Like, it just feels like a, li a little too late. I just feel like he's offering so many things. Like, it was a scrap tuition fees that Labour put in to start with, and he's offering money for NHS. It's like he's, like, skipping through a field of flowers, just, like, tossing stuff around. <laughs> where he yeah, can't actually get any of it done, and he's got Diane Abbott saying he's going to pay all these oh, God. police people 30 quid a head. Oh, she thinks the election's on the 49th of July. <laughs> <laughs> What did they do? How did footballers get off with women before mobile phones? Pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> Pigeon. Just, just drew a picture of their cock on a bank statement. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bank statement, and that's what it looks like. <laughs> I can't draw, so I got Rio to do it. Rachel, you're a huge Manchester United yeah, fan. Yeah, I am. You, have you met Ryan? I have, yeah. As well as fulfilling my dream of uh, doing times tables to music. I did some work for MUTV last year. What was your first dream? <laughs> <laughs> I'm famous to music. That's my day job. 
You right. may have seen it, it's on Channel 4. Oh, yeah. Da -da, da -da, yeah. Da -da, da -da. So, there you go. Um, <laughs> so I was shown round Carrington, the United Training Gown, by Giggsy in Rio last year. Blimey. I think you had a lucky escape. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very extended euphemism. <laughs> shown round. Shown round, <laughs> yeah. We started in the changing rooms. And um, we worked on it. <laughs> There were, that. there were cameras there the whole time, it was fine. <laughs> Sean Steen, what do you think people have been talking about over the last week? Is it Strictly Come Dancing is back on our screens and lighting up Saturday night? <laughs> <laughs> a whole nation of people. I should do it. I should host it. What's strictly, strictly Come Dancing, I can't say it, but I could host it. <laughs> <laughs> How come you're not one of the judges? You'd make an excellent judge on that. Um, because they've already got their judge. I would be an excellent judge, yeah, you're right. I would, I'd be fucking great. I'm on the ice, I know. You're on the ice? I do the ice. <laughs> would you ever consider going on it, Rachel? Would you? I, I imagine would they suck. are. Then. I had, um, my Would you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you'd probably get through. I did do one hour with a Strictly Come Dancing ex-pro before our wedding. Did you? What, you thought I'll treat myself before I make no, this No, my husband made me. <laughs> it wasn't anything to do with oh, me. Oh, to learn to dance, I'm sorry. I misunderstood, <laughs> <laughs> I misunderstood that. If yeah, Carol Vorderman is so good with figures, why does she always insist on trying to squeeze hers into a dress that's clearly two sizes too small? <laughs> <laughs> and the award this evening for not laughing at a joke she clearly thought was funny goes to Rachel Ryan. <laughs> Congratulations. I've been, in, I've been in a river where you get the catfish just come up to your whole body and the, do it. The catfish come up to your whole your, body? Your whole body. You hold this food and wherever you hold You're it... You're so naive. Those catfish. aren't catfish. <laughs> <laughs> Those are men that have paid good money to be there, Rachel. <laughs> Where was it? In Borneo. You go and in this you... river and these catfish, they're like that long. They come up to Ooh. you and suck whichever bits you put your hand in. Really? Harold <laughs> <laughs> Waterman has said that um, kids should learn maths compulsorily until they're 18. Yeah. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's like 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> she said that she did. <laughs> no, that's, it's 18 years. <laughs> Came from. <laughs> she said it's increasingly important to be uh, mathematically literate in the workplace. As if, like, at what point wasn't it? And why would you commission a maths report from someone who is good at maths but unemployed? It's <laughs> 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 not my fault. <laughs> it's a little bit your fault. <laughs> I didn't feel like people are actually that bad at maths until oh, I saw... Oh, i bad stuff, though. Yeah, well, what's the worst yeah. maths I, well, you've I seen? I did a programme with dispatches and they were looking at this school that had implemented this magical new uh, teaching of maths and I met an 11-year-old girl that couldn't work out 500 minus 499. This was after a year of their new magical teaching. <laughs> 500 minus... 499. <laughs> Can you hold up the fingers? <laughs> I'm going to need everyone's fingers, sorry, audience. <laughs> you get how many fingers in one hand? Five. Oh. How many fingers in ten hands? Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Forty. Yeah, no, what? <laughs> on, ask him again, ask him again. Ask him again. Ask him again. Question? Yeah, well, it's not difficult, your top's not done up. So it's hard. Give yourself, miss. Miss, do your top up and then we can get on with the maths. <laughs> Ask me a question with 11 in it. <laughs> <laughs> Most people think their own nightmares are scarier than horror films. My friend at uni took um, a girl on a first date to see Freddy vs Jason. And then on the way home, he bought her... Well, he didn't actually buy her. They went to KFC, but he wouldn't even treat her to the bucket. <laughs> he he wouldn't it. even treat her to the bucket? The KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Is that...? She had to split the bucket. He split the bucket? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't see a movie and then he split the bucket. Well, that sounds... <laughs> like... <laughs> 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 that's, that's the rudest thing I've ever said. <laughs> Joe, what have the nation been talking about over the last week? Faster trains. Faster trains. Yeah. Between Manchester, Leeds and London. Too Manchester, fast, isn't it? Too, too, too fast. fast. You'll have to change train impressions for kids. Like, you can't go... <laughs> 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 what? Yeah, that will it? It'll just go... <laughs> 
wasn't that long ago that they, they binned Concord, which was really quick getting to the States because it cost too much money. But now they've decided to spend 30 billion yeah. just to go to Manchester. Are you saying we should get Concords to Manchester? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. 30 I'm billion, in. Yeah. Well, for that kind of money, I mean, there's, there's other things we could spend that money on, aren't there? I mean, it's a, it's a huge amount. Yeah, we could have a free bar on the train <laughs> we did. for 20 years. <laughs> Well, that sound tells me it's the end of the round and the end of the show, which means the final scores are... Rachel. Huh? Come on, you're good at maths. Oh. Do the scores. Quickly, do the scores. Add up the scores. Quickly. Do the maths. There's no music. There's no music. There's no... da 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 da, -da. <laughs> OK, 17 <laughs> times 35. No, not without the music. Not without the music. <laughs> Come on, quick, 17 times 35. <laughs> Is it 595? <laughs> That is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs>